high schoolers for a candid discussion about the pressures they're facing and nothing was off limits. It's actually called a halo. Which would you say is easier, getting pot or getting a six pack of beer? A glowing circle of Saint's face seems bathed in heavenly light from his or her halo. That's the, uh, what we call a, a halo. We're here today with one of the most iconic figures in society. He's Drew. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of nitties. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Your opinion here mm -hmm. is bullying. My opinion on bullying is 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 basically taking advantage of somebody that may be less fortunate. Um, and it, less fortunate doesn't have to mean financially or or, uh, or riches or whatever they might have, but just less for, fortunate in terms of bravery, in terms of understanding, in terms of, of, of being able to stand up for themselves, making fun of somebody, um, you know, even just passing a message around, um, not being real with somebody. Um, that is actually my definition of it. Do you have kids, Ricardo? I do. I have five kids, four boys and one girl. Okay. I have seen this little yes. girl, beautiful little girl. Thank you very much. What advice would you give to your kids? The first piece of advice I'd give to them is, is just to, to believe in themselves. Um, there's nothing that anybody should be able to tell you that will make you believe that you're less of a person. You know, believe in who you are and, and act as who you are. Don't let anybody bring you down. Don't let anybody distract you from what it is you need to be doing. Um, I also tell my kids, be as weird as possible, <laughs> be normal as played out, you know, it, and it goes back to just being who you are. If, if you sure. feel like you want to be a clown, once you're not getting in trouble in school, be a clown. <laughs> if you want to make people laugh, if you want to sing, if you want to dance, you do that, but don't let anybody deter you from it. Um, and just stay focused. Uh, there are going to be people that are going to try to bring you down. There are going to be people that are going to try to make you feel less of a person. You don't need to focus on them. So essentially what you're saying is a person's opinion of you has absolutely nothing to do with you. Exactly. Do you think that this generation, mm -hmm. the set of young people, are more prone to bullying? Um, yes. And, and I'll tell you why. Right. We have this thing called social media, Ooh. which makes everybody a voice. And we also have this thing in social media called sharing. Right. I, I, we, we tend to focus a lot more on the negative aspects of what's being shared around than the positive. So, if for example, there's something going on about you on social media and I watch it, I'm going to share it. Even though I may not agree with what's going on, I'm going to share it. And on the top of it, I'm going to put, I don't agree with this. But I'm still sharing the negativity. Right. Um, and then sometimes you may not even know me exactly and and that in itself is a stab at somebody because you, i have now shared it to let's say i have five thousand five thousand people on my page uh which was five thousand people that may not have known about it yesterday and those five thousand people now generate an opinion about me exactly so you are, you have now been exposed to a different level of bullying than you know maybe your father or your mother or your auntie ever were ever exposed to because they would have been just in that circle because they didn't have that aspect of social media to share that so i i do believe that this generation is a little more prone not a little more a lot more prone to being bullied would you say that any of the chatter the hearsay amongst your peers affects you or your performances in any way you know, at, at the end of the day, I don't think, unless you have no emotion at all, I don't think anybody likes hearing negative things about them. Correct. Um, and especially depending on how you grew up, you know, depending on how high or low you, your level of self-esteem self is, it, it, it can definitely affect your performance, your day-to-day -day life. Um, it, it can affect a lot. So in the earlies for me, I, I always I always remember telling myself like why why do these people not like me you know why would they say this about me why would they even think that about me um, and eventually I had to look within myself and and build my self-esteem and, and not allow my self-esteem to be affected by 
the opinion of another person because then if you allow your self-esteem to be affected by somebody else's opinion then it's not really self-esteem <laughs> Show me all but your hand on it